Hi, good evening, everybody. I'm Greg Peterson. And I'm Kim Thurman. The crowd is rocking tonight at the Hangout Music Festival. Tonight's headliner, the Black Keys. Well, it has been a spectacular opening day at the festival. Local 15's Christina Zverjeko has been soaking it up and loving every minute of it, Christina. Greg, definitely have been loving it. And right now, arguably the most anticipated act of the night, the Black Keys finished out what was considered a great first day of the festival. Today was the first day of the beach party that has been so highly anticipated. Tried to come in years in the past, but can't find a spot, sold out of tickets. I waited too long in the past, so last year I was like, I'm buying my ticket in advance, so I can definitely be there, and it's been awesome. One thing that was noticeably different this year at the Hangout Music Fest was the number of attendees. It seems right. like there's like 80,000 in there. I mean, you, probably 40 to or find your friends is impossible. You either you're with them or, or you're, you're not, not with you're them. Not. <laughs> People have come from literally all over, and they're nothing but open arms. It's been something else. But uh, it's, it's been great. And even though the crowd is larger than ever by 5,000 people, festival goers we asked said organizers are keeping up with the crowds. It's been pretty clean. I mean, they're keeping up with everything. There's no trash anywhere. So we've had a really great time, actually. And things are winding down for today here in Gulf Shores, but the beach party, the Hangout Music Festival, is on for two more days in Gulf Shores, and it's promising to be a great rest of the weekend. Reporting live in Gulf Shores tonight, Christina Zverjako, Local 15 News. Yes, it is. It'll only get better, Christina. Thank you. The city of Gulf Shores has been asked to consider extending the city's agreement with festival organizers for five more years. The proposal is still on the table. The mayor says it's important to let the citizens know how they benefit from the estimated $40 million in economic impact. Concert goers say they definitely want to see it return. It's a festival at the beach. Who wouldn't want to come to this? So I think something like this that brings in all these people is great for a town like this. Right. you got to follow the money. Nonprofit organizations also have a chance to make some cash from the festival every year. Well, as we said, there's more than 40,000 people at the beach for the hangout, and safety is always key. Yeah, here are a few do's and don'ts if you're heading down to the concert. Let's start with the don'ts. You cannot bring in large backpacks, alcohol, kites, glow sticks, fireworks, coolers, or video equipment. Also, do not remove, stretch, tamper, or lose your wristband, wristbands cannot be replaced. No stretching of the wristband. Not at all. That you, can, you can rent a lock and you can lend it to your buddy. <laughs> you can rent a locker as you uh, go in to store your personal belongings. Be sure to stay hydrated. Everyone is allowed to bring one empty water container and water fountains are available. And be sure to use sunscreen. Our thanks to the Land Yap for compiling this list of do's and don'ts. Fun, of course, continues through the weekend. Tomorrow night is going to be the killers, the Flaming Lips. Fits and Tantrums, those will be the headliners tomorrow. Sunday night headliners are Outcast, Jack Johnson, and the Avet Brothers. A local 15 has exclusive backstage access during the Hangout Music Festival. We are partnering with the festival and 92 Zoo to get up close and personal with the musicians who make this festival sing. And we will have backstage interviews and exclusive acoustic performances. You can watch the performances streaming live on our website throughout the weekend. Look for the Hangout link under the community tab.